Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here for Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over some options on what you at home can do to mine cryptocurrencies that aren't traditionally mineable or the unminable. Uh, there's a couple options that I have here, uh, and without further ado, we have prohashing.com. Uh, prohashing.com has actually been around for a bit. Uh, I have an account. I had an account for a while. I just haven't really utilized it. Uh, done some testing with it, and uh, it's pretty good. And the options are, are very well suited uh, for the at-home miner. Now, they give you the opportunity to receive daily payouts and hundreds of coins and tokens, even non-mineable tokens or coins like EOS, NAM, and Cardano. You can also connect your Coinbase account for automatic bank transfers in the local currency, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if they support all countries yet, so don't quote me on that. Definitely check out and always do your own research on these companies. But I just wanted to share my experience with you with utilizing these programs. And yeah, there's more than one. One's a mining pool, one's an actual program. Uh, now, these guys have a proprietary uh, profit switching or profit switching algo. Um, for simple constant earnings uh, to make sure that you're getting the maximum profits in the cryptocurrency that you're choosing to get paid out. Obviously they have a live chart just like most mining pools which is really great. Uh, they do offer solo mining but if you haven't checked out my video about uh, you know which pool to choose where I talk about the payouts and stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend solo mining Ethereum if you only have like one GPU. Uh, there are projects out there that are very profitable for solo mining just not all of them and you need to do your own research if you do consider that but there's uh they have payout uh structures such as fpps or full pay per share uh pay per last n shares or pplns uh, and then solo mining like i talked about before and the options that they give us to get paid out in is very nice they have a clean dashboard as you can see here very simplistic uh not too uh crazy on the eyes and you can see all the workers here that i have available now, there's something I want to talk about on this page, but let's not get there just yet. The payout options is more robust than the secondary option that I'm going to go over, but they actually have the opportunity for you to mine to a charity. Now, you don't have to make it all go to charity, but you do have the option. The minimum payouts for each of these coins is what varies and what you need to pay attention to. For Bitcoin, uh, as an example, I would have to reach this threshold because it says here, any amount below the free threshold incurs a fee. If we want to avoid that fee, the free threshold or above is what we need to hit. But look at that, how high that is. Now, I'm an at-home miner, but I have what might have a little bit more hardware than you do. And that threshold is going to take me at least two and a half to three weeks to hit. Uh, depending on the profitability of the market and sometimes the market can take a huge dip and then my profit tank so it may take me a month or more it really depends on the market but the cool thing is is that I can actually specify okay I want 25% to Cardano 25% to Bitcoin 25% to Litecoin and then actually put 25% towards one of these charities which I think is a very neat idea but they also offer a whole lot of coins basic attention token, Bitcoin of course, the various Bitcoin derivatives or name of, but remember there's only one king and that's Bitcoin. All of these are just using the Bitcoin name or branding to try to get traffic. Uh, Cardano, Chainlink, uh, Dash, Dogecoin, if you're interested in mining Dogecoin or excuse me, earning Dogecoin for what you mine. Uh, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Feathercoin, um, a whole lot Litecoin the, the list just goes on and on and on so there are some very good names in here and some tokens that I haven't really partaked uh, you know did a lot of research on so obviously do your own research about the project or cryptocurrency or coin that you're trying to get into but you'll be able to select it and then choose how much do you want to allocate you want to get paid out 100% in this coin or 50 or 25 whatever it may be Obviously, they got some tips here for constancy, Vance, but then they also have the Coinbase option, which is really neat. So the Coinbase option, you're going to have to hit your, you know, connect your Coinbase account, but it says U.S. dollars has a minimum balance of $10 per payout 
to avoid fees and a maximum balance of a hundred dollars payouts of Bitcoin via coinbase will be paid out daily with no fees or minimum threshold now for somebody that has maybe one GPU uh, maybe earning four dollars a day that's gonna take a couple of days to hit that threshold uh, but it's going to take even longer on Bitcoin, but it might take a little bit less on Cardano. So you just really need to identify what your hardware does and then go from there. And you can use that with what to mine. For what, uh, for what to mine's example, what I want to show you here is I know what my rigs, if they're all on, can actually do. And that's about 580 mega hash. And you can see my earnings that they're saying here for the past 24 hours is only $33.56. However, when I put the 580, uh, I forgot the fee and the hash rate and everything in here. I should be anywhere between, depending on again market volatility. Some days it may go up, some days some days it may go down. I should be making anywhere between 40 to 50 dollars a day with all my rigs turned on and, and mining, which is not always the case. So my payout looks a little bit light, and you got to take that into account because what these guys are having to do is they're having to. Uh, take the cryptocurrency that you earn by mining, convert it into the currency of your choice, and obviously there's going to be some fees trying to switch hands there. Uh, I should be closer to 46.92, but that's over 24 hours uh, time span. So right now I'm only around $34 in a 24 hours time span. Um, obviously, it didn't take into account a couple of factors. For example, the system that I'm on that usually mines, I'm using it to record, so that does impact my hash rate and will impact my profits another great option that we have available to you is unminable.com unminable.com also allows you to get paid out in a great number of cryptocurrencies and I, I would like to say I'm looking at um, pro hashing because some of the tokens that unminable has pro hashing doesn't so you really want to look for what do they offer what can you get paid out in is that what you want and then make a determination from there but see, Unminable uses the proprietary software while pro hashing, you know, you can just set it up in your normal Phoenix miner, T-Rex miner, whatever it is. Uh, they also have it in Awesome Miner, which I did a guide on if you want to check that out to help you get started. Because right here in the profit switching section, boom, I can just turn on pro hashing, put in my worker name, hit OK, hit start, and I'm good to go. And I'm going to start mining and then get paid out in whatever I have under my payout settings. From Mineable is a little bit different. You're gonna have to download the software. It's up here towards the top. Once you identify the token that you wanna get paid out in, you just hit download. And I like to get the unpacked one, but you can get the packed one as well. Uh, I believe that's an EXE. I just usually get the zip files. You download it and you get everything set up. Now I'm actually mining while I am talking to you guys. And that's because Unminable gives me the opportunity to set the mining intensity and I have it set to low so you technically can use your computer while mining and this is GPU mining not CPU mining okay uh, obviously if I set the intensity to high um, I may will start to struggle and the recording or the stream or whatever I'm doing won't look so good uh, you can also change the algorithm for GPU mining all that good stuff but I will warn you that at the very beginning here let me stop this you're gonna have to choose the mining software so originally when you get set up it's going to get to this point where you have to choose CPU or GPU. You can't do both in this particular application. Whereas an awesome miner, obviously, I can do both if I set them up separately. Um, with this program, if you do not have XMR rig, there's a link right here. We support only, and it has a link. You click it. You're going to have to download the latest version. Now, this is going to take you to the official GitHub, which is where I usually get all my mining software. And you're going to have to choose the right one for your system, okay? Um, if you're not sure which one the right one for your system is, let me put it to you this way. If you're on Windows, uh, what I would recommend is go ahead and grab this one for CPU and this one for GPU. Uh, Linux, obviously you have this guy right here. They have all kinds of operating systems, but that will be the one uh, that you want to choose for Linux, these two for Windows, depending on if you're GPU mining or CPU mining. Now, you won't use this GPU mining one for Unminable, obviously, because it's only for CPU. For GPU mining, they're going to want you to use Phoenix Miner because Ethereum is the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine, and Phoenix Miner is the one to do that, uh, obviously, with the AMD GPU that I have in here. I believe this actually may change. 
but just keep an eye on the software. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. If not, you can join the Discord where we have a whole host of people in there that do help out other miners uh, that collaborate with uh, people in the community like Red Panda Mining, Savage Mine, Brandon Coin, the whole nine yards. Matter of fact, Unminable was brought to my attention by Brandon Coin's uh, Discord. Uh, I heard about it, I just never looked into it, so I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, another thing I want to point out here is once you choose, you know, get, make sure that you have your miner, you know, extracted to a folder where you know it's at. You click this folder, you go to that location, you select it, all that stuff, uh, and you hit next. You're going to choose the token that you want to get paid out in. Okay, all kinds of good tokens in here. I chose Cardano, but you want to make sure the address matches. So if you ever come back to switch to like Uniswap. Make sure you change the address. It's gonna be it's gonna show up red. If I choose Uniswap right now, it's gonna say here. Double check your uni address. But sometimes some people can mess up and somehow it can slip up and it will just wind up mining to the wrong address and then you be SOL. Don't do that. Make sure you change the address to earn the coin that you want to get paid out in. Now if I hit start, it's gonna start mining again, but that's gonna be mining on my GPU and again paying me out in um ADA. Now there's a minimum payout. And I need to stop this as soon as I get a chance. There we go. If you want to manage the payout, you won't see the page that we're on now, right? You won't see the page that we're on now. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to click website and this is going to load up the page, right? It's going to connect to your address and then you can see how much you made. And then once you hit 10 ADA, you will automatically get paid out. But if you're beyond 10 ADA and you want to get paid out, you can just click the pay now button. Uh, very easy, very clean GUI. Uh, graphic user interface is what GUI stands for. I like it. And these both, prohashing.com and unminable.com, are both great options. One is a mining pool, one is a mining program that allow users, the at home users, to get involved in the crypto mining scene and to help secure the network. Your hash rate helps secure the network, helps validate transactions. And that is a great benefit to the ecosystem as a whole. Even if you are, you're just mining it to get paid out in another cryptocurrency, that's fine. You're, you're, you're helping secure the network, and the more the merrier, in my personal opinion. So once you set your coin and you start mining, let it stack up. Stack them sats, as I always say, uh, and then get paid out automatically after 10 ADA or whatever cryptocurrency is. Obviously, look through what the minimums are for each coin of your choice and uh, make sure you're making good choices because obviously if you got one GPU and you're trying to get paid out in Bitcoin, it's gonna take you a while to hit that minimum threshold. Obviously you could drop it down to 50, but even then that may, that may take you a good minute to hit that mark. So just make sure you're double checking everything before you start mining uh, and checking out the payment settings and all that stuff. They all have help or support in which you can reach out to and uh, you know get assistance if you have any questions. Uh, again, if you have questions, I would do my best to get to your comments. I can't get to everybody, but I would do my best. If not, hit the join button down below, get into the Discord, ask any questions that you have, um, and we'll be more than happy to try to help you out. In the links below are going to be referral links to both Unminable and ProHashing.com. Um, if you want to sign up with those links, uh, that does help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. But besides that, guys, it's going to do it for me today. Do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Comment below what you're doing, what your thoughts are of these particular programs or um, applications or mining pools. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. And definitely sound off in the comments. I want to hear from you guys what your thoughts are. And I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. You have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.